is very tough. And this is a huge mismatch right here. I try to back off with Dirk, but somehow Dirk is so... <laughs> I couldn't do anything, so Oladipo ends up facializing him. I'm going up against the New Jersey Nets. He has Oladipo, Tobias Harris, and he is the owner of the league. So he has a default net squad minus D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwiddie, I think. But he has all the other players. Or actually, I think he still has Spencer. I'm not too sure. But all I know is that he doesn't have D'Angelo. But he has two other all-stars to replace him. So he has Oladipo, like I mentioned. And he also has Tobias Harris. So he has a pretty good squad of his own. And in this game, I made one adjustment from my starting lineup. I took out Dirk and I put Kevon Looney in the starting lineup. I did this because I wanted Dirk to come off the bench. I wanted him to have fresh legs, bring some firepower off the bench. And I chose Kevon Looney because he brings that rebounding and that defense that my starting power forward was lacking. So it was a good trade off as Marcus Smart gets a steal here. That's why I got this man. I told you guys already he gets steals by himself. I don't have to do it some, most of my time. He can do it by himself, so it saves a lot of uh, stress sometimes. Kevon Looney with the pick and roll. I get in the lane, make a tough layup with Harrison Barnes, and I get the take over. So yes, that is the only change I made, Dirk and Kevon Looney. But besides that, everything else is still the same. We get a steal. Perfect way to start the game. So at this point, we were down. I mean, sorry, we were up by nine points, but he runs a nice play. Tobias Harris is open for three. And I just realized he gets open again here because he put Tobias at power forward and Kevon Looney it was my power forward so I was too my power forward was too slow to catch up to Harris. So Kevon Looney doesn't have the foot speed to be chasing Tobias Harris around screens. As Dirk hits a three right here, this is why I brought him off the bench. Because off the bench he has more stamina than the players on the floor. So it gives him a slight advantage because you know he's already I think 40 years old in this game <laughs> so if I had him starting he would lose stamina pretty quickly against the starters and he wouldn't be effective later in the game so he gets a steal right here he's cutting into my lead so he's gonna be posting up Chris Paul here is taking advantage because Oladipo has the size but I still played great defense which is why Chris Paul had the takeover so to end the first quarter I was calling for isolation I didn't expect him to call a double team so he gets the turnover on me I couldn't pass it out and he ends up taking the lead to end the first quarter after we were up by 9 points. So to start the second quarter, I want to make sure he doesn't go on a big run once again. Because he made, I think, um, how many points did he score in the f to end the first? I think he went on a 13-4 run or something like that to end up taking that lead. So right here, I'm going to run another nice play. Mark Gasol has takeover. He's not going to double team, so you already know what that means. Gasol is going to get in the paint and he's going to make almost anything. <laughs> he made a smothered shot right there. Nice play right here. Mark Gasol in the paint. Beautiful double screen. So now we take the lead back again. We are up by four points, but watch. He's going to call for a screen play. He gets wide open, but Joe Harris can't make the shot. Terry Rozier, my point guard, gets the rebound, and you know what that means. That's coast to coast with Terry. Scary Terry, coast to coast, baby. So a quick double screen for Harrison Barnes. I get a perfect release. I couldn't believe it. Because it's rare to get perfect releases online in this online league because it's on Hall of Fame. So it's very, very difficult. Plus there's a lag. So getting perfect release on Hall of Fame plus the lag plus the defense and all, all of this going on is very tough. And this is a huge mismatch right here. I try to back off with Dirk. But somehow Dirk is so... <laughs> I couldn't do anything. So Oladipo ends up facializing him. But that's crazy, man. You couldn't let Dirk live, man. He's retiring. Well, he retired in real life, but in this game, in our league, he didn't retire yet. So Oladipo could have at least done a layup or something. <laughs> you know, it's Dirk's last season in our league, so could have been nice. So here he's going to run some beautiful offense, but we're going to be rotating as well. So beautiful offense against beautiful defense, but he ends up getting a mid-range shot. But it's all good because it's the guy I wanted to shoot. RJ is not that good of a shooter, so I don't mind that mid-range shot. So right here, I'm going to get in the lane, Euro step, Chris Paul ends up getting fouled. So it's a six point game. Oh my god, I said six point game, it's six minutes left in the court, I was looking at the wrong thing. 
Uh, but yeah, we got a wide open mid range with uh, Chris Paul right there. Now Chris Paul is cutting. Beautiful movement by our squad. I'm trying to push this into double digits, heading into the fourth. But after this possession, this really frustrated me because Marcus Smart, the computer just end up double teaming for no reason. I didn't even call for it. And you can see here, two players are one player. Like two players are rotating on his offensive player and it's really annoying. Like it's leaving offensive rebounds, leaving him wide open buckets and it's really, um, like I said, it's very frustrating. I don't know why the computer does that. I don't know if it's a setting or anything, but it's really frustrating. Another perfect release. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Like I said, it's very difficult to get perfect releases. It's not like my career where you can get perfect releases all the time. Marc Gasol gets the block, but like I said, we can't get any rebounds. And he gets end up putting a putback and one. So these rebounds are killing us. He's been beating us on the offensive rebounds in this third quarter. Wide open midi with Jarebko goes in. So we're trying to keep this lead. It is 8 points. He's posting up once again. But I'm not going to jump. Good defense. We get the rebound finally. And you know what that means. Scary Terry. Five seconds left. Quick hesitation dribble. Getting in the lane. Find Harrison Barnes. Let's go. So we finally got our double digit lead heading into the fourth. But just like in real life. If you watch the playoff game today against the Sixers. The Nets collapsed. So in this fourth quarter. Instead of collapsing. They're going to go on a run. He gets a wide open three with all the depot. Beautiful play. So it's a seven point game. I'm going to try to shoot a three right here. Ends up bricking. So this fourth quarter, we're going to be bricking some shots and he's going to be taking advantage. Another shot for him goes in. So it's cut down to five. I get another wide open shot here off a nice play and he ends up missing. So this fourth quarter is Brick City. <laughs> Yo, I know winter is tough right now, but you know, we can't be building homes right now. So, it's a 5 point game, we finally get a rebound, thank goodness. Coast to coast to Terry Rozier? Okay. I think that's our first basket in the 4th. There's a triple team on Marc Gasol, another wide open shot, Brick City. So it's a 5 point game, we're breaking our shots. He's gonna be cutting right now, Marcus Smart fell asleep on defense. Actually, that was DeAndre Liggins. My bad. So, post-up position for him. Three-point game. So, he's been cutting to our lead this whole fourth quarter. And our offense has been very... How do I say this? If you're missing shots, but they're wide open, how do you say that? Just been missing good looks. I missed a free throw. Like I said, it's on Hall of Fame. So, if your free throw is not perfect or close to perfect, it's going to miss most of the time. So, it's a four-point game. Ricky Rubio has the ball. There's a mismatch in the paint. I'm trying to stop it. Tobias Harris is at the four spot. So it creates a lot of problems for my team. Oladipo is wide open. So it's only a one point game. Tobias jacks it up. And like I said, we can't get any offensive rebounds. And it's going to end up killing us right here. Oladipo ends up taking the lead. So the Nets end up taking the lead after being down by 10. Thanks to some good offense and some brick shots by my squad. I finally make a three right there. I thought that was going to miss honestly, but it somehow went in. So it's a three point game. You know, we got to get a stop, but the double team by the computer is really annoying. Gave him so many wide open baskets. Marc Gasol in the paint, huge basket in the last minute of the game. So Tobias Harris is at the four spot once again. He ends up getting matched up on Chris Paul. Oh my goodness, this was a, such a problematic, <laughs> pro problematic matchup for my squad. And I tried the same shot that gave me the lead, but this time it misses. So with 17 seconds left in the ball game, he has his two best players isolating on the side. Oladipo has the mismatch. I see it, but can I stop it? I'm going to try to deny it. But I don't want Harris to shoot the three, so I come back up. I'm going to bring a double here. Oladipo fade away over Chris Paul and the double team near the three-point line. Wow. Wow. There's nothing I could have done there. I saw the mismatch, but I just couldn't stop it. And Harris would have gotten a three. He's been killing me. But Oladipo, man, Mr. Clutch, Wakanda forever, man. <laughs> So please, if you enjoyed it, drop a like for my heartbroken team, drop a comment, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G Flash on Twitter.